Hey y'all, welcome back to Guns Up Review. Today we're back on Project Ratty Buggy. We're gonna address the seats. I got some used seats. So come on back, we'll see if they fit on our bad boy buggy. So our seats were totally roached on our old cart here. The front seat had been chewed all the way down, no foam left on it, all I have is the seat base. So what did I find here? So I found some takeoff seats from an easy go golf cart and they're, they're gray instead of tan. Okay, so what I have here is I have one good seat in the whole cart and that is this back seat cover here has no holes in it, it's the only one. So I've got a front and a back easy go seat. The front seat fits good. It doesn't have the side rails on it, but I have those. We'll add those to it. And then we'll take this seat off and take the front one off uh, and replace that with these easy go seats. We may have to do a little modification, but try and make that work. This back seat, I have a full seat cushion, another front seat for this back, but it's much too wide. This back seat is much narrower. And this has got a big tear in it. The seat cover is no good back here. Um, it's chewed up all the way in here. And so I think the foam is probably okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this seat cushion off, take it and have it covered in a, a matching color. These seats are gray where these are kind of a tan color. Uh, and have this seat cover to match this and put that seat back on. So let's see if we can take all the old seats off and let's see how good the new ones fit. All right, step one, let's get this back seat off and we'll get this to the upholsterer. Just a few screws here to take this out. Okay, these bolts as they're coming out are very rusty. This thing has been sitting outside and these are hot. Um, this one, these, these have a little uh, screw that goes into a wooden back on the seats and this one is spun out, the nut is spinning out. So I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut this uh, head off this bolt. This is plastic on here. I don't get this too hot, so I'm gonna grind a little bit Cool it off, grind a little bit, cool it off until I can get the head off of this. Then my seat should release and I'll figure out how I'm going to get that bolt back in there after I get it fixed. So here we go. So in case you're wondering, it looks like the easy go seat fits really well on the old bad boy buggy here's our original front seat the wood is still in really good shape the pad gone the cover totally eaten okay so what i've got to do is i've got a new seat back here okay here's a new seat off of an easy go all i've got to do is i think switch over these hand holds on the side on the bottom side, I've got some little hinges here that I've got to move over from the, uh, from the original to the easy go. And then you can also see here how the uh, screws are attached to the wood there with those little inserts. And so I think these are even in the same place. I might be able to just take these screws out and put them in this one since this seat bottom has holes in looks like what looks like the same place. As a matter of fact, it looks like here, the hinge holes are already pre-drilled. So this may work out brilliant. Let's see what happens.
Okay, the last thing to come off looks like there's a prop rod under here. It looks bent pretty good, but I can straighten that out. So that when the seat is up, uh, you can put this prop rod in and keep it up. Let's get a screwdriver and take that off. It's also got a keeper here to uh, lock it in place under the seat. All right, let's take these two parts off and then we can move this ratty bit out and put the new in. Okay, before I put all this back together and just reverse the steps that I just did, let's clean all this junk off here, spider webs and trash and dirt dauber nest. These things get everywhere there is an opening. So at least when we put it back together, it'll be good as new. Okay, now it's just a matter of redoing everything we just undid. One thing's for sure, make sure that these loops point towards the back of the vehicle. If you have them pointed towards the front of the vehicle, you can't get in. Don't ask me how I know that. Okay, problem number one, the original bolts, these are stainless bolts that came out of here, do not fit in these holes. So these look like they're uh, 5 16 bolts. This looks like it may be a uh, 3 8 bolts, but not to fear, I got lots of bolts. All right, so in my magic bolt drawer, once again, I've got some 2 inch 3 8 16 bolts, same length, but a little bit bigger diameter. That will fit perfect in here. Let's try one more time. Okay, when you go to put these different parts together on different things, you're going to run into some problems. Looks like these two inch screws are way too long. I'm going to go see if I have some one inch and replace them with that. Magic bolt drawer for the win again. I find some one inch. These are ever so slightly tighter on the board than it is on this handle, so I really have to pull it in to get these to fit. But this is going to do the trick. All right, so the next step is to throw on our little hinges. We got one here and one here. I have measured center to center here versus the old one exactly the same. So if you ask me, easy go, front seats fit the bad boy buggy perfectly. It's what it is. It's the same seat. All right, so we got our handrails on, we got our hinges on. Uh, let's let's throw this in the cart and let's see how good it fits. Okay, my hinges are a little bit too far apart. I'm going to loosen the screws and see if I can pull them in so it fits just right. There you go. So I'm going to have to tighten the screws back up, but look at there. Perfect snug fit. So there you go, the easy go seat. Now, let's see if we can do something about these back seats. Okay, so we finally got the seat off there. And we just went ahead and went over to Joanne's Fabric, got a $10 piece of vinyl. My neighbor and our great friend, the wonderful Mrs. Miller, stitched us up a new seat cover. It's not exactly the right color, but it's going to be close enough. Went over to the hardware store and got some of these little inserts, these little wood inserts. Uh, replaced all of those so we get it bolted back down, got some new bolts. So let's throw this back on. Okay, now let's replace these back seats. No more distractions.
Okay, it looks like my Easy Go seat backs aren't going to be quite as easy as I thought they were going to be. Looks like that the holes are in a little bit different location, and the Easy Go seat has a quarter 20 screw, whereas the bad boy had a, a, a 5 16 screw. So, a little bit smaller hole, a little bit different location, but not too bad. All I have to do is just re drill my brackets. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than that, so let's drill some holes. All right, so I have replaced all the seats. They kind of sort of match. This is great. That's great. It's a little bit different color, but it's dang close. These backs, I, instead of re-drilling the holes, what I did is they have some little plastic pockets that fit over those rails. I went with my uh, cutoff wheel and just trimmed the corners out of those pockets, which allowed me to lower them down just enough they, so they fit. And I think if I wouldn't have done that, because there's no room between these two seats, so if they would have been up higher, they would not have met. So I think that was the uh, only solution that would have worked. But anyway, I got them on here. Last step, let's scrub-a-dub these seats, and let's see what they look like, and then we'll get a final walk around, see if I get your approval. Okay, here's our final walk around. I would say that that color match is pretty tasty. Okay, there's our front seat, our back seats rather. And then we come around to the front seats. Hey look, no rat holes, no missing foam, and it all matches pretty good. I'd say that's a bargain for a uh, cart that's no longer made to find some Easy go seats that fit in there and, and with a little recovering of her own. Look at that seam right there, will ya? Come on. Okay, a little recovering of her own on the back seat. And that's uh, that's project done. Okay, so for the next time, when you come and join us, hopefully we're going to be under the seat doing some electrical. Hey, thanks for watching here on Guns Up Review.